more chemtrails. Houston, Texas. Hundred and seventy five year world's worst uh, drought in Texas. At least Texas is worst drought. Not the world, but Texas. We'll be like Africa before long. The Sahara. Or the Mojave. Maybe the Mojave has moved to this location. This tree right there you can see is dead. And the way you can tell dead trees is whenever the leaves die and they turn brown and they're still on the tree itself without falling, that means that that tree is dead. We're supposed to have 660 million trees die in Houston alone from this drought. I just, I can't believe it's anything else uh, but something to test the, the air or whatever. I don't believe that it would change the uh, weather pattern. But uh, what do they put in that thing? Because it's falling, and it's falling on people right now. It's coming on down. It's dissipating out, it's spreading out, and it's falling just like that. And we are over the city. I'm in the middle of the city. Houston, Texas. You can see many, many, many homes over there. And they've been crisscrossing all morning. Making large X patterns. So, I, you know, I tend to believe the Air Force whenever they say that it was most likely... These are from uh, these are for uh, checking weather patterns, uh, but uh, the question is: is what do they put in them? You know, you can see how this guy turned back. He actually turned back and went that away. So he's kind of like circling around, but he stopped shooting that stuff back off over there. You can see where he stopped, right in there, and that's not far away. Where this is not that high. This is pretty close to me. I mean, it's just a few hundred feet up. Now, from where I shot at earlier, you can see how much it's fallen. Now I think this is originally the jet was way up here going across spraying airplane whatever it was and it's fallen that far. It's actually further up. It's fallen quite a ways. So you can definitely see that it's heavier than air and it keeps falling and falling and falling getting lower and lower and dispersing more and more as it falls. You can see back over here how the wind pattern is picking it up and moving it around and spreading it out. Kind of got a zigzag. My uh, lips are burning now and uh, my uh, 
face is getting kind of raw on them. So whatever it is, I don't know if it's made for human or animal consumption. But the birds are running and I'm running. I'm out of it. This is uh, Houston, Texas. It is September the 14th. We haven't had rain forever. And we have not had chemtrails forever. We are getting chemtrails now. Anytime that a chemtrail is laid, that's not contrails, but chemtrails, anytime that they're laid within two to three days it rains. Uh, we've noticed this pattern all over the country, all over the United States. Uh, in Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Texas. So we might be getting some rain. Now, it's said that chemtrails are made or formed uh, are made by man-made uh, to test the weather patterns or fronts that are coming in. That's one thing that's been said about it. Other things or other people say that they use chemtrails to change the weather patterns. Not sure if that's true or not. But we do know one thing, the weather patterns have changed. Not sure about all this, but we do know one thing. It seems like that, uh, well, this is what I do know. I was making videos on chemtrails. Uh, last year and the beginning of this year and uh, all the way into spring and then chemtrails stopped all the chemtrails stopped around this area and we've had the worst since then we've had the worst drought in 175 years now we have droughts coming or we have the uh, chemtrails coming back at the end of the summer. This is the day after. This is uh, September the 14th. I was shot the chemtrails on the 13th, I believe it was. Uh, anyhow, this is the day after chemtrails trail footage I shot. There was some this morning but you can see we have clouds forming now and they're all around us. This one directly above me looks like rain no rain is supposed to be forecast for another week or so but the chemtrails tell a different story Clouds forming behind us. Kim trails directly above me. If you can see it right up in that area. It seems to be changing the weather patterns as I speak. Streak here, streak here, streak here. Hope you can see it. Uh, 
and then it's changing into these large anomalous clouds this is day three of chemtrails in the air uh, still no rain I'm just keeping a a uh, watch or a, a documentation of what is going on as far as if there are real chemtrails or if these are contrails uh, contrails are made by airplanes just whenever they go into the atmosphere and as there's friction from the wings or from the jets or from whatever it makes these contrails. Chemtrails are something different they're shot out from airplanes. They're actually shot out from the back of airplanes. And it's some kind of a gas that contains like barium and aluminum in it. And supposedly these are bad for people's health. And uh, we think uh, in Germany they proved that they were used by the weather department to chase weather patterns or to see computer generations of how these things, these streams go across. Uh, the, the nation, the nation of Germany, or the country of Germany, and they do the same thing here, they say. Uh, however, we don't know, because there's, uh, I've been following these for the last two, three years, and I've got some really cool documentation, some footage of these things forming uh, clouds and whatnot, are uh, having rain the next day. All right, this is day four, day five. Uh, after the, we've had chemtrails for three days, and then yesterday, there were still yeah four days we've had chemtrails above us, and then today it started raining. Uh, we have been without rain in Houston since I last documented the chemtrails, which was back in the winter early early spring and now it's pouring down after the chemtrails so we had chemtrails early spring that stopped the weather evidently and now we have chemtrails that have started the weather again and we've had four days of chemtrails and it's pouring down rain right now lightning storm and here it comes. We haven't had rain and it's been a good oh it's been a good while. Yeah I don't even know how many months, probably eleven months. A good ten months at least minimum. And uh, here it comes. We're in it now. So I'm gonna get in out it, let the storm come on. Here it comes. Camera's wet. I'm wet. Storm's coming. Houston, Texas. This is Jackson Burns. At what could be the end of the great Houston, Texas drought. 2011. 